Welcome to video 17 on the Yamaha Montage and Modix synthesizers. In video 14 we added a phaser to the variation effect and it works. And in this video the goal that we set ourselves is to add an on-off switch for this phaser. This is the performance that we created in part in the video 14 and it has the phaser effect as a variation effect under knob 3. The depth of the phaser can be controlled here. Uh, but suppose we do not want to tinker with this knob uh, for an on-off purpose, we found a nice depth, then it could be very nice to have an extra switch, an on-off switch, to turn this phasing effect on and off immediately. Uh, well, if we remember uh, correctly, there was this big on-off uh, field on the effect routing screen. And well, it could be an idea to simply assign that to one of these two assignable buttons. Well, yeah, that is a good idea, but unfortunately it is not going to work because Yamaha decided that these on-off switches over here cannot be assigned. I don't know why, but it's just a fact of life. So we will have to find another way, a workaround I would call it, because this would have been the easiest way. But luckily there is this uh, parameter goal called var send, which is uh, a, a parameter per part. And that is an assignable parameter. How do I know that? Well, there is this data list manual that you can download from the Yamaha Modix or Montage uh, web pages. And on the page 178 there is a long list of all the destinations that are available. And if we scroll down a bit on that list we see that var send is a parameter per part that we can use that is assignable. So uh, there is also a very easy way to find that out. If you tap uh, or activate a parameter that is assignable, then this little button over here, the control assign button, lits dimly, and that means it can be assigned. So, well, let's do it. Let's just press that control assign button and then we enter this uh, screen and it says activate the source uh, to assign it. So in this case we want this button assigned to, to uh, control it and let's just press that. That brings us fully automatically to this screen where we now can read that assignable switch 2 has a new destination called var send, exactly what we wanted. We see by the way that there already was another destination, where did that come from? Well, uh, when we imported this part into our performance, uh, then all the uh, assignments that it already had as a part came with it. Um, so if we don't want this we can tap it and delete it or we can first listen what it does, in this case it's an amplifier release so if I release the keys it sounds a little bit longer or shorter. Uh, it didn't bother me, it didn't interfere so I just left it there. The important thing is that varsend is now also assigned to this assignable button too. However, the, uh, that is assigned by default with the standard curve in the middle and we remember, we may remember that the var send was at a default value of 64. So if I do not do change anything here, it's going from 64 to max. And I want it to go from 0 to max. So let's make a change over here. Let's change that curve to make it look more like a switch. It is now sort of off or on, it's zero or max, that is done by the threshold curve type and if I put it on bipolar then it goes, uh, it also subtracts from the default 64 that it is uh, in the mixer. 
Um, so this should do it. Uh, I put a ratio on max, that was not really necessary, but it, this looks more or less like a switch. It is a curve, yeah, that is sounds strange that you have a curve under uh, a button, uh, but it looks only fully left, and if you press the button it looks fully right. And fully left my value is zero, and fully right my value is one, two, seven. So this should work. Let's try it out. First with the assign two button switched off. And now I'm going to switch it on. Well, that seems to work. Assign button two switches my phaser on and off and still I can use button number three to change the phasing depth. In the next video let's uh, create an effect in one of the inserts part insert A or B.